put, mm-hmm. and then I'll wake it up. Uh, one is um, a 12 volt signal from the charger, uh, which the Brusa chargers do provide um, to tell you that you're charging. All right. And it will uh, wake up on that. Um, and this little HMI, if you push the button, that'll wake it up. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about some of the pieces. You've seen Brian's installation of the display. This is a little circuit board. This system, uh, the various components talk on a CAN bus. This is a uh, great idea that hadn't worked out, but it's, it's fairly popular. It's a bus for automobile computer um, networking um, that was proposed some years ago. It's been adopted pretty widely, but it's kind of a signaling system like Ethernet. What happens is everybody makes up their own messages, and so everything can talk to each other on the CAN bus, but nothing knows the messages of the other piece. We've got a one CAN bus, I know, in the mm-hmm. Mini, and perhaps the second, they call it a K bus, K-bus. but I think it's a CAN bus. Mm-hmm. Um, and we could hook this in with it, and uh, oh man, we could party, except BMW uses their own message set, right. and Victor uses a different one, and they really can't talk to each other. Uh, the Brusa uses a third set, and uh, there we go. a little more in tune with that one, but it, it's still the same mm-hmm. problem. But this is your, they're connected by four wires, a high, low um, uh, on the transmission, and a, uh, a ground and a power. And power. It's a four yeah. wire system. So we'll run that from our um, main circuit box to this HMI. We've got a four pin plug there. And then from the four pin plug on the other side of the HMI to the display. Uh, the display has four CAN bus wires that would hook up to this mm-hmm. and a fifth wire mm-hmm. which is a little white one which is actually a pulse width modulated output representing state of charge all right it's kind of cool we've never used it <laughs> no we didn't use it um but uh you could hook it up to a uh, uh, almost any um fuel gauge on a car okay and and you, you have to kind of uh calibrate it using the software, but it, it will um, um, indicate your state of charge on a fuel gauge. So it's cunning uh, <laughs> device, we just haven't used it. No. <laughs> the other two pieces you get are in this box, and I'm going to show you these. It, the box doesn't come with this. Victor sends you a cir- main circuit board and a shunt. This is a, a current shunt to measure current, particularly at these levels. This looks like a piece of railroad track in here with a little <laughs> circuit board. That's because the entire current of the pack is carried through that. And this one, I think, is 75 or 100 millivolts full deflection for 500 amps. And all that is is a uh, conductor with a very precise resistance in it that will drop a very precise voltage, in this case, I think 75 millivolts, or 75 or one thousandths of a volt for a full 500 amp um, um, current through there. And we uh, hook that to our negative terminal of our battery, um, and that gives us our negative pack voltage, Mm -hmm. but it also lets us monitor this current with this little circuit board here. It's uh, further connected to um, the main circuit board, which is here. Main circuit board has an RS-232 connector. Because there's a lot of different kinds of EVs and applications, Mm -hmm. I suppose, Victor sends us the shunt and this board and this little PC board and the display. display. There's basically four components. Uh, The display you can either get as a circuit board uh, that you can mount in something else, or in this pod pod, that that we got it this time. So that's the components you get. It is programmable and you can use it to log data. You can hook up a laptop to this thing and log data real time as you're driving or as you're charging. Mm -hmm. We almost never do that. I've done a little bit of it and uh, it's uh, 
um, interesting for a while, but after right. a while, it's just everything that's working, right. so that's I don't right. do it. <laughs> However, I've mounted this on some standoffs uh, on the lid of this box, and the shunt in the bottom with the two terminals sticking out will connect one of them to um, our um, negative terminal on the entire pack, mm -hmm. and, and then the other end will go to the controller up in the front of the car, and in this way this shunt is in the uh, uh, conduction path, and we can use that to do the instrumentation. Um, he simply uses these little, and I actually don't like these, they're little spring-loaded connectors. You stick a bare wire in and they're supposed to clip it on. They're, they're not, I, I don't like these at all, um, but so what I've basically done with this rat's nest here is this is all wiring that goes to a female uh, Amphenol 19 pin plug. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. put all this together, a lot of the wiring is simply between the, the shunt um, and the circuit board. But we have a number of external inputs. I put an RS-232 connector here and wired it to the one on the board. So now I can plug a laptop into this thing mm -hmm. and run Victor software, which he supplies. You can download it off his website, but he sends you a disk with the system. Um, and it's, it's simple to run uh, software that lets you kind of define, oh, a lot of things like uh, your pack size. Um, we're going to tell it it has 100 amp hours. Um, in the pack, and so it knows kind of the state mm -hmm. of charge by counting the amp hours in and out. Mm -hmm. um, your tire diameter for the speed, um, and then you can actually define what shows up on the display on each page from a menu of, uh, of various right. things. Um, and so it, it's a pretty programmable system, and we change it quite a right. bit. So right. this uh, needs to be accessible. I put it in the box and ran all the other wires to this Amphenol connector. This is the uh, male plug version of that, and I simply wired that up with labeled each of the wires. We've got a little glad hand here is what they call them. It's a polyurethane grommet mm -hmm. they use on trailer trucks. To <laughs> I use them all over the place. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Um, yep. To um, uh, run the uh, air. Um, brake cables from a trailer to the track. The trailer, yeah, where you the, see them hanging. The disconnect yeah, thing. Yeah. So they'll have uh, these little things, and you can get them in uh, any auto parts store. They usually have them on the counter. Uh, this is where I get them uh, out of a bucket. They're a buck a piece or something like that. And a hole saw fits real nice. And, and we got a hole saw. <laughs> so we've got holes in battery boxes and stuff, and use this uh, grommet to keep from chafing. And so this plug. We'll simply plug in to this and connect our, our box. We'll have uh, connections here and here to the negative terminal. I had said we were going to put the Brusa charger in that space uh, on the spare tire battery box. Right, right. Um, I have to hook this up to a negative. And the most negative terminal of the battery, and I've decided that's going to be back in that box. And it just so happened this sits down in there. We don't even have to mount it. No. It's, <laughs> it's exactly right. So it'll sit down on that plate that, that holds the batteries in place. And it, it's actually very firm without even mounting it. So I can pull it in and out, plug and unplug it, and um, that sort of thing. So we're going to put this in that place along with a couple of other Amphenol connectors mm -hmm. for battery wiring to the box, a couple of RS-232 ports for our uh, Brusa chargers, and so that space is filled up kind of with instrumentation it at is. this point. Yep. And we'll lay the Brusa in there flat, the, our tray will move over right. it, and I think it'll be great. So the, the reason I've done this is to make it easy to hook up to these boards, we're going to wind up with all these uh, signals we have to connect. Um, the ignition, when you turn the ignition key on, we're going to run 12 volts in. 12 volts from the charger. Um, you can hook up the headlight um, the switch to this. And when you turn on your lights, it'll dim the display. Right. So it's bright in the day and dimmer at night. And you can actually set that level in the software. 
Um, that's kind of a neat feature. It's great in the Porsche. It works really well. The um, we've got our speed inputs. Um, the uh, the CAN bus uh, connections. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, we've got uh, uh, four wires that are for uh, thermistors mm -hmm. that connect to that shunt board uh, that allow us to measure temperature mm -hmm. in two different places. And so we'll run those into the battery pack somewhere and mount those little mm -hmm. thermistors there. And, and it'll tell us what our, our battery uh, pack